Imagine if you could pause aging, or better yet, rewind it. And you now we're you're at, well, there might be a way. I'm Dr. Dylan Greeny, and I'm a board certified dermatologist. And today we're gonna deep dive into the Miro R3 Turbo. The device is making bold promises about transforming your skin, but does it live up to the hype? Let's find out. As a dermatologist, I've seen a lot of skincare fads come and go. But when I heard about the R3 Turbo, I saw that it had an impressive 4.8 star rating on the website. I knew I had to get my hands on it and try it out. We're gonna unpack everything there is to know about this device. Now, right out of the box, this is awesome. It's sleek, it's modern, it has an amazing build quality. Also a huge nod to sustainability since the device is reusable. It's obviously wireless too, so there's no hassle when it comes to that. But regardless of the device itself, how does this technology work? It's an RF or radio frequency device, which stimulates heat in the deeper layers of the skin to promote collagen formation. But it also has EMS, electrical muscle stimulation, which gently tones and tightens the skin by lightly contracting facial muscles. It's like a workout for your skin. But since I'm a dermatologist, I have to give you a deeper explanation. Radio frequency stimulates heat in the first millimeter to two millimeters of your skin. And with that heat, it simulates damage to your skin, which your body thinks, hey, I've got to repair from this. And the good news is when your skin repairs itself, it lays down and creates new collagen. This new collagen can tone and tighten and improve the appearance of the skin. That's why radio frequency has been all the hype over the last couple of years. It's such a popular option for non-surgical, non-invasive facial rejuvenation. And it's cool because the Amiro R3 allows us to use this radio frequency, which was previously only available in the clinic. But like I said, the device is not only radio frequency, it also harnesses the power of EMS. Like I said, it's like a workout for our face. So it gently stimulates our muscles to contract. It's like a little workout for our face. And as we tone and tighten those muscles, it gives support to the rest of our skin and surrounding tissues. It can create a tighter, more toned facial sculpted appearance. So really between the RF and the EMS in this device, it's kind of like a dual function device. The benefits of radio frequency and EMS are very impressive. It can target wrinkles, it can target the bags around the eyes and just the periocular area in general. It can also create a more snatched jawline. But as a dermatologist, I have to set realistic expectations. The Amiro R3 is no doubt a powerful device in doing this, but it's different than getting a facelift. Obviously a facelift is pulling, cutting, tucking. It's way more invasive and it can provide significant, significant tightening. But these RF and EMS devices like the Amiro R3 Turbo can help to create a firmer or useful appearing skin, but it is different than very invasive procedures like a facelift. It's really about protecting and enhancing what you have and not changing your facial structure. As a dermatologist, I prioritize safety both with devices at home and also in my clinic. With heat-based devices like radio frequency, it's important not to burn the skin. It's wonderful because the Miro R3 Turbo does have safety features that limit skin temperature from going over 43 degrees Celsius, which can be harmful and damaging to the skin. We really want to keep that heat underneath the skin to stimulate the collagen without creating a burn on the surface of the skin. This makes this device safe and effective for all skin types. But of course, I got to show you guys how it works. The red one's the power button. The two silver buttons allow you to control the intensity. And then the illuminated buttons back here show the intensity of the device. The first light here can show a full circle for anti-aging mode. If the top half only is illuminated, it's the eye mode. And if the lower half is illuminated, it's the V lifting mode. And most of the treatments are gonna range from four to five minutes. And when you're doing the treatments, you just feel for the vibration in the device to know when it's time to go to the next area. Before beginning any of the treatments, you'll wanna start with clean skin. So here I go. My skin is clean now, and this is the only time of the day that you'll see me without sunscreen. There are three different modes on the device, and I'm gonna start with the full face anti-aging mode. When the full circle's illuminated, that's the full face anti-aging mode. For this mode, you use the Miro Moisturizing Serum Gel. You're gonna apply this gel to your entire face where things are gonna be treated. You wanna avoid the upper eyelid area for treatment and also directly on the lower eyelid. The gel will allow the device to gently glide across your skin. The strength of the device can actually be adjusted with the silver buttons on the side too. I'm on strength setting one right now and I'm gonna bump it up to strength setting number two. You'll notice the two little dots here which show the strength setting. Try not to leave the device in one area for too long, but it does have safety features to prevent any harmful issues. 
The key is when you're using this device is to always keep it moving. You'll feel nice warmth and some little tingle or little contraction of your muscles as you're using it. The device will vibrate when it's time to switch areas. Now I've bumped it up to strength setting three. At setting three, I could really, really feel this working. I just always keep it moving. If the gel seems to dry out, just apply a little bit more gel to the area and proceed with treatment. Treatments take about four to five minutes. If you wanna go higher, you can bump this all the way up to level five. But it's always best to start slow and just get consistent with the device. It makes sense to me that when the upper part of the circle is illuminated, that's the intensive eye care mode. So let's try the intensive eye care mode. This treatment can be paired with the Amiro eye mask if you want to, or you could just use the gel on your skin. I'm gonna take out the Amiro eye mask now. Ooh. We're just gonna place the eye mask on over our eyes and smooth that in. Then we can begin our treatment. I can really feel the energy around my eye. And this treatment can last for up to four minutes. And similarly, the device will, again, vibrate when it's time to switch areas. You can really feel the contraction of the muscles around my eye. You can keep the mask on for 10 or 15 minutes and it's a great hydrating mask. Then gently rub in any remaining essence. But what about the V-line lifting mode? Well, that can be paired with a Miro face and neck mask. It actually goes on your ears and then stretches across your lower face. So let's start the treatment. We'll activate the device. Then we wanna see that lower circle illuminate. I can definitely still feel the tingle through the mask. Again, this treatment's gonna last for about four minutes and you'll get a vibration when you know it's time to switch areas. After the treatment, there's no irritation. My skin just feels super hydrated from the awesome masks. So there you have it, the Amuro R3 Turbo. It's an innovative way to support your skin health and appearance. I'm curious to know what you think. Could this be part of your skincare revolution at home? If so, check the link in the description and make sure to use my code. If you found this deep dive helpful, make sure to like the video and share with a friend who loves skincare. Have questions or wanna share your experiences with the R3 Turbo, feel free to drop a comment below and we'll see you in the next video.